Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So what we're going to do in this one is we're going to create a post table seeder and a post factory in order obviously to, to seed our database with post. All right, so open up your terminal. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our factory first. So it's just PHP artisan make factory and we're going to call this one post factory like this okay so our post factory is created so under database factories you will see we've got our post factory right there okay so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm just going to create a variable called title all right and i'm just going to set it to this baker and we're just going to do some text and we're just going to set it to be 20. right now the reason for that is because i want to create a unique uh, slug from this title from it all right so that the title and the slug can be a, more or less the same okay so in this case we're just going to add the title right there okay and we're going to say this baker the title we just need to do title like this all right the next one this one is going to be the slug and we can just do the slug to be a string slug from the title okay and just make sure we import this at the top so otherwise we're going to get an error all right so if you don't want to do it this way what you could have done we, uh, with faker actually just let me just put it like this out there so faker we could do a text the same thing that we did above there we just can set that to 20 and when we do the slug, we just do this dot faker, right? I mean, then we just add a unique attribute, okay? And then we can just say slug like this. But now the thing is, it will create a slug, but it will not correspond to the fake text, okay? So you can do it this way, and then you don't have to add this in there, okay? So I'm just for someone that might know what, why is the title not the same as the slug? So let me just, yeah, I can, I will delete that. So we just do it like this, All right? The next thing is for the body. And I just want to add, say this, put faker. And for the body, we can just say paragraph. And let's say two paragraphs actually, All right? And then another one is for the author ID. And we're going to add the author ID. We're going to just say what we can actually do is we can actually assign an attribute like this. Okay, so if there's an attribute called author ID, okay, then please take the author ID. If there's none, okay, then just create basically a user. Right. right so what it will do in this case is let's say we pass an attribute called author id basically will assign that author id to the author id if it's not it will basically create a user for that author id okay so the next thing let's just open our post model quickly uh, post model all right so we got our title body slug cover image okay so let's quickly add that as well um for the cover image for now i'm just gonna do let's do cover image for the image what i will do is a public folder and the image the stock images i will just use stock onejpg so i'll just put in here uh, stock uh, one dot gpg right so i'll just do that and the published published add date i will just assign that date to basically be now okay so all of them will be published at now right so publish at the type okay so the type of post um uh, the type 
so what I will do in this case, I will send them to be random, okay, to be able to be chosen from either it must be standard or premium, okay, because if you remember, let's just up, up post migrations, uh, database migrations, let's go to post migration. Right. If you can see, uh, the type is going to be standard or premium, right? And the default is standard. So I'm just going to assign it randomly to be premium. Okay. So let's do that. Right. In order to do that, we just say this dot faker, and we can just say a random element, right? And we can set them in an array, and the first one is going to be standard. And the other one is going to be premium. Like that. Okay, so now that's now our basically our type. Okay, so we've got our pose, we've got our type, photo credit, that's nullable, so we've got an ID right there. Okay, so we got that all set up. Alright, there's another field that I want to add as well. So inside our database, let me just do it right here. Underneath the cover image, all right. So let's add a Boolean field, okay. And this one is going to be called is uh, underscore commentable, like this. And then we're going to just say a default. By default, we're going to set that to one, meaning true, okay. So. What we're going to do is, if an author wants to decide if they actually want a po people to comment under that article, we're going to set it is commentable underneath it. We can actually just do it like this. Com is commentable. Then we just set it by default true, so that the writer or the author can actually decide if people want to basically comment under the post as well. All right. So we can just do that as well. So under our post. Underneath here, we can just add another field that is commentable like this. All right. So just to give the authors a, bit, a little bit more freedom if they want to decide if people need to comment under their post. Okay. So the next thing and we just want to add here is commentable. Okay. And then what we want to do in here is we can just do a random right and we can just set it be random one all like this okay so now what will happen is it will assign a random value of true or false all right just remember uh, zero is false and one is true so i just want to add where some protected cars right here i just want to is commentable i just want to let this be a uh, boolean like this okay so when we cast it it will assign it from boolean uh, casting of boolean which pardon me if it is a zero it will return it as false if it's one it will return it as true okay so we're just casting it as a boolean value okay so the commentable Right, so now we got that set up right there. So we got our factory all set up. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to actually now create a cedar for our posts. Right, so just open our terminal. Next thing we do is PHP artisan make seed. And we're going to call this one post table cedar. Then press enter. Okay, so now we've got our cedar right there. So we go to post uh, cedars, and you see we've got our post cedar right here. All right, so this obviously this one will be quite easy. So we're just going to do a post uh, factory, factory like this. Then we're just going to add a count. Okay, and then we can just say how many posts do we want to create. Let's say in this case just 20. All right, and then we just want to assign. Uh, create so which author do we want to create let's say we just let's say we do it like this we're going to create 10 okay 
uh, with the author ID. This is the attributes that we're going to assign, so which are going to be here. Okay, so the author ID. Um, we're going to set that one to basically be the one. Okay, just remember in our user factory. So the first one right here, that's our basically our admin user. And the second one is our writer. So I'm just going to do 10 of these and 10 of these. Okay. So let's go to our post table seeder again. So let me just, I don't want too many posts. Let's just create five and let's just copy this one down. And I'm just going to assign this one to be the author ID of two. Okay. So because remember, it's only the admins or the writers that can actually create posts. Okay, so let me just do that. So that's basically our table seeder all set up. But now what we want to do is we want to go to our database seeder and actually just call our, basically our post table seeder right there. All right, so if we go there, you will see so we've got it right there. All right, so that's it. So let's quickly see if we can seed our database. And what we're going to do in the next one, we're going to set up our tags table seeder. And after that, our comments table seeder. Then we're going to start working on our front end part. Okay. So let's quickly see if we can actually see the database and if we get any errors. So PHP, Artisan, Migrate, Fresh, Dash Dash Seed. So hopefully no errors. Right, we've got an error post not found. Okay, so let's see where in the post right here. Obviously, we haven't imported this yet, so let's just import our post factory. Let's do that again. User not found. What? User factory. All right, we've got our user right there. Let's just pause this. Right, so if we go to our post factory right here, we're making use of the user. We haven't imported that user yet. So let me do that. Okay, so now it's supposed to work. All right, it worked. All right, so now we've got our post in the database. So let's see if we can actually view our post. All right, so as you can see, we've got our post in our database. So if we go to database post right here, you can see we've got our cover image, the stock stock1.jpg. I just want to use that because once we create one, we will actually just obviously let that be in. So as you can see, we've got is commentable. So this person uh, is set to true, false, true, 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 and all that kind of stuff. So it's all very good. As you can see, we've got an author ID of one, one, we got created that and author ID of two. All right. So as you can see, some of them are standard and some of them are premium. Okay, so the different posts. So that will be quite handy when we start determining if the user can be able to go to a premium post if they're not subscribed. Okay, so that's all very, very nice. So all of this is all set up. Okay, all right. So that's it for me, guys. So in the next one, what we're going to do is we're going to create our tags table and our tags table seeder, pardon me, and our tags factory all right so that's what we're going to do in the next one so i'll see you there and like the video if you like it and i'll see you in the next one guys adios